Okay, I am quickly, as we move from our easy, easy, three out of 10-ish, to five out of 10-ish, up to our starting a ride, joining up with some folks who are just easing into the pedals, a little bit more workload still. We're at our low end aerobic. Those of you who understand that, functioning with a lot more oxygen than you do when you get into the higher efforts. So bring that gear up a little bit while you're at that preferred cadence I've referred to of 90 to 100. And I'm just quickly in this next two minutes going to address a question or a comment from George in Winnipeg the other day, experienced rider, and a few of you actually, just made a comment about when we're doing a pace line, or in last week's case, an echelon simulation, where a rider gets to the front and either is taking a pull, meaning they're on the front for a little bit of, uh, it can be a varying amount of time, or rolling through on the front and right off as in an echelon. And the question was, we were taught, or the comment, we were taught to keep it steady, maintain the speed as we roll through. 100% correct. The only thing I'm trying to do in these indoor workouts is illustrate when you get to the front, there's a harder effort to go the same speed. So your pull, you come from being in a draft, you come from being maybe 30% easier effort because of the draft to maintaining the speed going to the front, which means more effort. So because we're simulating these things on an indoor bike, I'm trying to create a way for you to feel it, understand physiologically what happens, but absolutely, and I will say it over and over again, we do not, go to the front of a line and surge or accelerate. We're trying to, unless you want to get rid of people. <laughs> it's not a friendly thing to do. And it's not good for your energy output or that of your friends, teammates you're riding with. People can be teammates for a very short amount of time. You find each other out on a ride like this. Let's bring the gear up now. Sorry, a little intermission. Bring the gear up, six out of 10. It's not loose focus, 90 to 100 cadence. <clears throat> so maximizing your group's effort and that is by being careful in your turn through. But first thing we'll be doing today is just revisiting our opening piece of the RBC Grand Fondo, taking off from the park, rolling into the first nasty crux. And after that, because we just got over the top with a few riders, and we see there's a nice little pod up ahead to ride with on the highway, we're gonna form a pace line, and we'll be simulating that. So is that pretty clear? Yes? Was that an okay explanation? All right, really appreciate the comments, really appreciate you bringing up if I am not communicating what I wanna be. How's that? Okay, six out of 10, last little bit here, another minute, six out of 10, and you're gonna be using this when you're outdoors. Now, a little catch maybe in your voice, but you're still aerobic. Get used to this feeling. We warm up so that six out of 10 eventually feels a little bit easier as we get the squares out of our legs. Everybody has a little bit of squares in their legs when they start out. Another 30 seconds. I'm right at 100 cadence. If you're using my legs for cadence, 25 pedal strokes every 15 seconds. Oh, we have Mike off the bike there again. Come on, Mike. 
<laughs> Even when you're a really small Hollywood square, I can tell the body position, all that. Okay, we're gonna bring this up to seven out of 10, close to our hour power. Using your gear, maintaining the cadence. Two, one, up, up. Seven out of 10 now. This is where, as we build into it, we're gonna feel more of a catch in a, com well, conversational, we won't be conversational. We're working too hard, okay? So I wanna ask you what's going on, how you doing today? I had a teammate who used to annoyingly come up to me and try and have a full conversation when I was going way too hard. <laughs> I think she just did it, play a little mind game, show me that she could still talk. <laughs> okay, another minute, hold it right here. We're gonna do something a little bit different at the top of this. Feeling like there's a decent amount of effort coming into the legs. As it gets harder, let's just take a little check. Remind ourselves to relax, soften the elbows. Breathing is getting a little bit more labored. All the way down. We talked about core. Luann, was that, was it Luann, I think? Asking me about core. Think about being able to swivel slowly and your body feeling centered, right? Look at things going on around you. Fully, 70% now. You can feel it. This is close to where you would only wanna be for an hour. So, we're just gonna go a little bit through a different range, building in the strength component of our pedal stroke to generate the same power. First of all, I'm gonna have you drop your cadence from this 90 to 100 back to 80. Okay, we're going to a crisp climbing cadence. 20 pedal strokes every 15 seconds. You'll feel the effort, the power drop a little bit and change because we haven't done anything about the gear to simulate maybe going into a hill. We're just dropping the cadence, generating less power. <clears throat> Good. Settle in there. Settle in there. Different sort of recruitment. We talked about power being force times velocity. So in the next little bit, we're going to bring up the force. We're gonna keep the same velocity and bring it back to closer to our seven out of 10. So this is a lower leg speed, recruiting a little bit more hamstring, butt muscles. So let's bring that gear up. Hold the cadence, 80-ish. I know it's hard on some of the regular bikes for sure, where you're just using your gears. Close approximation is fine. Bring the gear up. Back to close to your seven out of 10. Two, one. If you hadn't done it, up, up. Hold that cadence though. As you bring the gear in, you can really feel more recruitment. We're gonna hold on to this for a minute. Good, if you're using wattage or numbers, you'll start to see the same number, but it feels different. If you're using heart rate, you might find it stays generally the same because of using the slower cadence, which until a point will actually feel different. Not as much cardiovascular ramp up. Okay, holding it right here. Pulling through the bottom of the pedal stroke. 
You're going to give it another little break. Coming up, we're going to drop it right down to a 70 cadence, under 20 pedal strokes, more like 17, 18 for 15 seconds. This is more like what you find you use definitely on a climb. So bring that cadence down, leave your gear. It gives you a wattage or an effort break. Feel all these ranges. You're gonna find where you're generating power at an optimal rate, different terrain, takes a lot of learning, but you wanna understand the feelings. Some people, big gear feels like crap. Some people, high leg speed feels like crap. There's gonna be a range that's effective and works for you. Okay, we're bringing that gear in again. All right, kicking it back up to your 70% number or seven out of 10 at this lower cadence. You'll feel it come into your hamstrings. Two, one, come on guys, up, up. Circles, let your ankles move. Strong platform. I always, always think of my feet. That's what's connected to my pedals. That's where the power gets generated. I like to feel the pressure up and down through my feet. Good job, everyone. Stay with this. Stay with this. A little bit longer. Good job. Another whole 30 seconds, okay? Turning it over. Breathing's definitely more labored. Zoomer likes this because he says he likes a low cadence. <laughs> okay, 10 RPM. Getting to five. Two, one, let the gear go, okay? Wherever you're comfortable, try and move towards a 90 to 100 cadence and let the gear go. This is your opportunity to have the blood pushed around your legs, around your muscles after that dropping cadence. And then while you're here, we're just gonna do one thing to activate the neuromuscular system again, remind ourselves about turning the pedals over nicely. <clears throat> so everyone, I'm at a 96, 97 right now in cadence, making sure my gear is easy, making sure I'm around a three-ish, four-ish effort level. And for 90 seconds, I'm gonna cue you up, up in cadence. You're gonna bring it up five-ish RPM when I say up, up. And we're gonna try and get to your top cadence. Nice, active leg speed. Maybe 110 is your max, maybe 115. Going in 10 seconds. From this nice cadence, make sure small ring you guys that are on your regular bikes you want to be able to get the activation we don't care about the effort at this point okay 90 seconds first lift up up i'm already at 100 good settle in quiet in the upper body even if you ride more off-road gravel, mountain bike, you still want to learn, well, definitely want to learn core strength and try and be quiet and relaxed, okay? Up, up. You have a minute to go. As a guideline, I'm moving towards 110 right now. 45 seconds. Some of you 
This will already feel like a spike. Some of you, you've got a little bit more to give. Up, up, come on. Just over 30 seconds. Quick feet. Let's pretend those darn cranks are shorter. Like our coach Ted says, he likes that one. <laughs> okay, last little bit. 15 seconds. Turn it over. Keep it quiet. No bouncing. If you are, stop it right there. Five. Two. And one. Let it go. We're going to use all of this in the workout today. <clears throat> We're going to go back and just revisit. Some of you weren't here our first exploding out of the gate day. Some of you were. Either way, it's going to be great to just see if you're feeling a little different a couple weeks later, if you're starting to get a comfort level with what we're doing. And so the first part, we uh, all excited when we start the event, we're warmed up, maybe not as much as we like to be. We stand on the line for a little while and then we have a neutral start. And the neutral takes us out of the beautiful Stanley Park over the Lionsgate Bridge, spectacular. And we come off and turn into one of these that even the locals don't ride very frequently said that before. It's a main busy sort of route, but it kicks right into a hard pitch. A lot of people not ready for it, either not kind of getting their head around, being prepared, uh, slipping gears, miss shifting. You come out from a nice group behind the car, you're flowing along nicely, all of a sudden, boom, right hand turn, all your own power on a steep pitch. So being ready for that, we are going to simulate that first part. We're going to <clears throat> go a minute rolling off the bridge. 70% effort, 90 to 100 cadence. We are going to hit the kicker on Taylor Way. Two minutes, 80 to 85% effort, hard, okay? Make it count. You wanna establish yourself, set yourself up for the rest of your day and getting through this is a good, important piece. We're going to chase a little bit after the hill. And I'll cue you all of this. The effort comes down, leg speed's gonna come up. And then we're doing a little pace line where we're simulating a hard effort when we take our turn, <clears throat> but thinking that we're trying to keep this group working together effectively. You'll get a break. We're gonna do some rolling efforts out to the next crux point. So we're bringing this down into a shortened version to tap the systems. And then you're gonna do a long climb that I'll coach you through there, which finishes in a push over the top. So everybody make sure they've got their fans on. Playlist, if you wanna start at song eight for the Grand Fondo playlist, it's queued up to go along with the rest of the workout more or less. Get involved by the Funk Hunters. There's about four songs for this first part. So everybody starting to get themselves composed to get into this effort. Make sure you're having some sips of water. There's a lot to think about in this next piece. I'm gonna roll you in off the start in the less than a minute now. So this first minute here, while we're getting ready, find that 90 to 100 cadence. Should be at least 50% or five out of 10 right now. Rolling over the bridge. We're gonna come off it. Maybe got our little group that we decided we were gonna ride with our club riders or our new friends. We met either on the start line, <clears throat> past the party, 
All right, so I want you for real starting now, 70%, 90 to 100 cadence, one minute, and then we're hitting the hill. Everybody in two, one, bring the rest of that little gear in. 70%, use it a lot, flow up and down around it, keep the leg speed nice and fluid, relax, okay, getting yourself a good position, want to be able to see ahead, 30 seconds, coming off that bridge, Not gonna get taken by surprise. This is an eight to nine percent pitch. You can see it coming up now. 10 seconds. It'll take us about two minutes. Drop the cadence to that 70. Make sure we shift efficiently. Small chain ring. Don't get caught. Two, one, two minutes. Come on, eight out of 10, in control. Bite-sized pieces, remember. Looking ahead of the bike, being aware of what we're doing, breathe. Hein, you got 30 seconds already. Awesome job, everybody. Come on, take ownership of this. Turn it over. Feels really hard, but it's worth hanging on to. You're almost in a minute. Come on, guys. Strong through the feet. It's okay to think about the top now. Look where it is. Not that far away. Come on, guys. It's early in the morning to be thinking about this effort. It's gonna be worth it to have those friends all the way. 30 seconds, guys, come on. Push, push. You need a couple pedal strokes standing. That's your choice. Your style, get on top of the gear. We've done a lot of that. Back down. We're gonna cruise up and over the crest. It's right there. Don't back off the pressure till we're over the crest. Five seconds. Two, one, 60 to 70%. Back the gear off to simulate that. And bring your cadence up. Two of you in your posse made it over together. You're trying to just get on the back again of the rest of your club. A little bit away from you in front. Downhill right now. We want a little bit of a group on the highway. 30 seconds done. Minute and a half to go. Come on. It's hard after a push to put that pressure on the pedals again. We're using our leg speed. Good job, everyone. Come on. First minute. Breathe. One minute. If you can use a little bit more leg speed to create the same output. If you're learning that, do so. All right. We're rolling up to a little, little, little group that we want to be with. Turning onto the highway. It's a bit of a drag. Worth it to do this though. Get yourself a nice place. The first, 
We've got a little pace line to do. We're gonna try and close in. Next little posse up ahead. Two and a half minutes. We're on the back of the line. Bring it up to your seven out of 10. In around 90 cadence still. 90 to 100. Come on guys, a little harder now. We're on an incline. This takes some people by surprise. Again, it's a drag. It's a pull up here. Two more minutes. This is our little group. Moving through. In control. You're starting to feel better. Couple wheels ahead of you. Now you're not on the back. Settling into your rhythm. Good job, guys. Keep this, keep this energy. Keep this rhythm. 90 seconds, then you're gonna take your pull. Meaning you're in the wind, you're on the front. You're responsible for maintaining the speed without any luxury of having wheels in front of you. One minute, two wheels to go. Come on. It's all about just getting your head around it a bit. Use this little bit of teamwork. Once you get your first pull done, you get a real feel where you're at. We'll get back quickly and try and recover once we've contributed to this piece. All right, in 30 seconds, your second wheel. Someone ahead of you. Hold on to that cadence. I'm tipping a little bit over 100. Anyone using me as a reference? It'll drop down when I'm on the front by a little bit. Okay, rider in front of you, giving a signal. You're pulling through. Two, one, eight to nine out of 10. Because you're on the front, you're not surging. Come on guys. 30 seconds, driving into the wind. Awesome job, Han Gainer. Seen you on the front a few times. Five, two, one, signal, and get on the back. Don't waste time in the wind. 70%, this feels harder than you want it to at the beginning. Recover, recover. You wanna connect with that group up ahead, helping your posse here. All right, on the back of the group, when you're feeling it, have a little drink. Maybe while you're on the back, safe, safe to do things. Good job. When I'm in a group like this, I just keep really close attention to what everybody's doing. Somebody's struggling, you may even ask them to sit on because if they're struggling and actually pulling you off, it's gonna be worse for both of you. If they take a break, they can come back a little better and also not be making you do any unnecessary accelerations. Good job, guys. We're in the middle of the group. We're as relaxed as we can be or will be. Seven out of 10, here is the feeling. 
Closing in on the little group of extra wheels we want up the road. 30 seconds. We're second wheel. One more after this, come on. Stay engaged. I often, when I'm struggling, think 10 seconds at a time. Oh, I'll just do this 10 more seconds. Oh, I'm still doing it. I'll do it another 10 seconds. Okay, your turn on the front. Just responsible for the speed, in the wind, on an incline, two, one, 30 seconds. Come on, eight to nine, out of 10 is the feeling. Use your gear to get that in the legs. Awesome job, come on, drive it. You're driving this train. That's the way you can think of it. Taking care of the passengers, but you're driving the train. Three, two, this part's hard. Get on the back. Doesn't feel as comfortable as you want it to be. Recover, recover. Come on. For 30 seconds. Awesome. I see Donna there, one of our founding originals. 10 years doing the Fondo. Last year, she finally decided that I was right. This is harder, <laughs> chasing, being on a wheel, but it's worth it, right? <laughs> Thanks, Donna. Oh, <laughs> she gave me the thumbs down. Okay, get on my wheel. Okay, 70%, you're in the middle of the group. Time to grab a drink if you can. Coming to the end of this piece. Good, strong effort, everybody. That group that you're trying to get to is right there now. We're gonna ride right up to it. Few more wheels. We're just growing our efficiency by a little bit here. One more wheel. Good job, everyone. Seven out of 10. Don't cheat. Let's make sure we're right there. 30 more seconds, then your pull. Come on. Think you can. Encourage your friends or the people you're with. 15 seconds at a time. All right? You're taking the pull that's gonna connect this group. In five. Eight to nine, feeling. Drive this train. Two, one. Come on, guys. Last one. Push, push, push. Use your cadence. Halfway. Come on, they're right there. Let's ride right into it. New connection. Over the crest, the road starting to tip downhill. Three, two, and let it go. Good job, everyone. Recover, recover. Hey, okay, doing all that stuff, <clears throat> about 14 minutes. I'll go back to just reminding you when you're doing things like this, it can be overwhelming, daunting. Any big ride, any big workout. But break it down into pieces and focus. Maybe the parts you don't like. <clears throat> I don't like really steep hills. That's me. Soon as it goes over about 
seven percent I don't want anything to do with it <laughs> I just know that about myself it's good to know because then when I'm looking at a profile I'm like oh there's a Taylor way type thing coming up I know that I have to really get my head around it be strong and after that I'll like the other stuff better even if it's still hard <clears throat> we all have little games we play okay you're gonna do another two and a half minutes of recovery so soft pedal as much as you like here <clears throat> I'll bring you up just the last minute as we start remember what I said about don't be afraid of the recovery don't be afraid of the soft pedaling when it's assigned because we're trying to focus on going hard this is our reward when we're doing this kind of stuff 14 minute efforts a long one okay you have two minutes to go you are going to start as though we're rolling along what's ended up after that first part <clears throat> there's rollers but you have this nice little group that you've formed and the effort will flutter around six and seven out of ten and cadence a little bit adjust 90 to 80 to 90 as we go through some of these just drags really not too long looking out at the water a little bit making sure our eyes are on the other riders and the cones and everything else as well we do one of these right learn to look this way learn to always be looking ahead and feeling what's happening with our group one of the things that I see in a lot of these events is people don't look far enough ahead and you can quite often see by the flow of riders ahead of you what is ahead of you right when you're keeping your you you can see if there's a bit of a slowdown from the front you know it's coming back to you right don't get taken by surprise when you're in a group and this can be as few as five people and it can be many many more than that so we're going to start this next piece as though we're on the rollers we're going to come into a downhill and we're going to go up the next crux point which is furry creek hill go straight up in front of you intimidating for all and we're going to push over the top because it's really important to be again in a good position for the downhill you get some recovery as another hill and then you're almost in squamish so in 20 seconds have a drink of water start bringing the effort up to six out of ten we're gonna go in 10 seconds your 60 percent number okay that's still able to speak but we're not fully fully easy aerobic we're into this minute 90 cadence bring that gear up no cheating no cheating you no cheating me no cheating anyone else you're with okay strong through the feet now we're just gonna hang out like this for a minute first thing we're gonna be doing is hitting an uphill drag of two minutes our cadence is gonna stay the same it's not that steep but our effort is coming up to 10 to 7 out of 10 okay back to that number we're gonna ride around a lot even though supposedly we can only do it for a total of an hour <clears throat> we're moving around it that's why we can use it a lot over this event okay bringing up that gear now bit of a drag I see the tops of a few heads I would like to see yeah <laughs> I would like to see the eyes look where you're going practice good habits 70% right now bit of a drag come on 90 ish cadence you've done 30 seconds already much of what you'll be thinking of on these and on any other ride like this position
I'll encourage you to ride not always on the front, for sure, but near when you have the opportunity. We all fear being on a hill, sensing you're at the back, and then looking behind and seeing no one. <laughs> Last wheel in the group. Okay, guys, hold on. Seven out of 10. This is the effort we have to carry a little longer. It's gonna change. Another pitch. Two more minutes. We're gonna drop the cadence. Maybe we're going more into a three to four percent. There's a few of them. Anytime you feel like you need to sand, you use that. 80 cadence, come on, drop it down. Bring the gear up, 70%. This is around a place we call Porto Cove. Getting close to Squamish. Come on guys, seven out of 10. Relax your face, relax your shoulders. Eyes up, 90 more seconds. Over the top of this, then we have a downhill, okay? Trying to stay in control, relaxed, but we're pushing. We wanna learn how to do that. So a lot of that active recovery stuff is about learning little bits on and off so you can get recovery without fully sitting up. Awesome job, everyone. We're getting close to the top of this pitch. Porto into a downhill, round the corner, and then <coughs> a bugger of a hill up ahead of us. Okay. 20 seconds, keep pushing it, hold on, 70%, right over the crest, pressure on the pedals, not letting go till we feel the road tipping down, we have a downhill coming up, 60% this, high leg speed, two, one, come on, get after it, Use that leg speed. Recover, recover. Hun, really good guys. When the course or the effort or whatever it is, is only giving you a minute of recovery, you convince yourself. That's all you need, okay? Coming around the corner now, you can see Furry Creek. This is our second crux point. This is important. We did it a couple weeks ago. The bottom is steep and then gets steeper. 90 cadence, rolling into it using our gears, 70 to 80. Percent feeling, two, one, come on. Best part of two minutes now. Hold your cadence, use your cadence of 90. The bottom, four to 5% grade. Come on guys. Awesome. Just because it's straight up in front of us, it takes on the optics of being harder than it is. Not to underestimate. There will be people right now 
this point in the climb, messing up their gears. They attacked it too hard, not us. We've saved the proper amount of margin that as it tips up in less than a minute, we can bring up the power a little bit and get through the next segment. Two minutes, okay? Hold on to this. Think you can, think you can. Strong images. I am a good climber. Remember I said for me, over 7%? I'm with you. I have to get my head around this next part. Okay, two minutes. Bring the cadence down, 80. Effort, if you're gonna stay with your peaks, 80 to 85, hard. Two, one, come on guys. This is a real crux point in this whole thing. We're not far from Squamish. Hon, crank up those tunes if you're using them. Pull through, strong on the bottom. Up around the back of the pedal stroke, come on guys. Hon, you got over 30 seconds done. Keep yourself on the clear, don't get behind. Anyone who looks like they're flailing or struggling, don't want them to get in the way of your effort. Awesome. Come on, one more minute like this. You're eating up the road. Eating it up. Voraciously. I'm thinking to myself, I love 8%. I love 9%. I don't, but I'm gonna think that. 30 seconds more, okay? We're close. We're gonna stand. Last bit of this pitch. And then we're on a false flat. But we really, really wanna get over in good shape. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay guys, on top of it. Three, two, come on. Up, up. Active. Dance on those pedals. Give me at least 30 seconds. A minute if you can. It's still big power. Come on guys. Awesome. Almost half of this. Come on, guys. Stay with me now. We're pushing to that false flat. It's in 30 seconds. Up, up, up. Come on. Think you can, think you can. Stay right here. Stay with me, come on. Three, two, back down. 75%, using your cadence, all right? This is your final commitment. Get into the rhythm. You conquered. The part that looks like a hill. Now, you have to conquer this last bit. Come on, guys. 90 to 100. 30 seconds done. Come on, everyone. Half of your group just dribbled off. Few bike lengths ahead of you. That's 
Make this count. All right, guys, that's a minute. You're at your 70, 75 number. Downhill in one minute. Come on, let's use our cadence now. I'm gonna cue you up, up. Let's close that last little bit. So we're not chasing on a downhill. We get to relax, okay? Cadence, up, up. Come on. Right for the top now. Two minutes downhill coming. Come on guys, up, up. Last really hard part. Last little bit. Push. Right into that group. On the downhill. 10 seconds. Come on, everyone. Fierce. Three, two, downhill. Don't let it go. Cadence. High cadence. Back to that drill we did. Flush the blood around. Okay. Recover, recover. Five or six out of 10. Won't feel like that at first, but it's coming down. 90 more seconds. Come on guys, keep that cadence high. There's a tendency after hard effort to wanna just lock your legs and coast, we want to move the blood around. Particularly, so on this section of the sea to sky, we're going to do a flat after this, and then there's another pitch before we go with 10K or so into Squamish. Okay, you feel the recovery coming in, but you still have some pressure against the pedals. You're teaching your body. So good, everyone. Heads up. Come on. Especially on the downhill. This is a big couple of sweeping turns. Coming down to the water. Into a flat. Because you made that effort over the crest, you're pretty relaxed right now with some people, getting maximum recovery. 15 seconds now. Good job, everyone. Carry it right through, right through. Always past your finish line. Five, three, two, one, and done. Bring it back, easy, easy. Super easy at first, and then a little bit of gear. Just bring it in so you can feel it against your feet and have a proper warm down. That's a good bit of work, everyone. How was that? One of these? Just give me a thumbs up. I'm always happy to have one. <laughs> okay. So. We put together, in a short little summary, the first two crux points of the Whistler Grand Fondo course. <clears throat> and Taylor Way also, um, I said I've ridden this many, 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 many times, but rarely do we start from Taylor Way. So that's one of the early variables that's good to actually have a bit of knowledge about. And then, of course, by the time we get along towards uh, Porto Co, as I, Co, as I said, then you know you've got two big pitches. One like the one we just did, a little flat in between through a mining town, and then one more around the same. I always find it a bit easier than Furry Creek. You don't see it all in front of you, and you also start with a little bit of steep, and then it kind of crests into more of a gradual grade. So <clears throat> I find getting through Furry Creek the really important one, and then you still do know you have 
the other piece. But you also have a long, long downhill after that into uh, Squamish. And then the next session we'll do, we'll revisit coming out of Squamish and then a little bit at the end. Okay, so great effort everybody. I will stick around. Um, always great to hear, especially as I said in the beginning, it helps me to sometimes know after decades of riding when I say something that my meaning isn't being proper commu properly communicated. So you guys are my feedback for that. Always welcome it. And if we can't get it done in a face-to-face, -face, then the emails are helpful too, and I've had some of those. So hopefully you're enjoying the sessions. We're gonna continue Tuesdays and Thursdays. It'll take on a different type of uh, courses and rides and things like that, but we'll still be keeping it on there. I always trained in the summer during my race career indoors so I could get the proper quality. Gives me good opportunity to roll around outside and just enjoy the days, some of the others. So stay on the bike if you can, a little bit longer here. Be good for you to get a good five to 10 minutes. If you have a bit more of a luxurious morning, you know, even put your tunes on, put the news on. I don't know about that actually, it's not very relaxing recovery. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with the music for now and uh, just get your legs feeling nice and fluid again. I'm sure they probably actually feel better than when you got on the bike anyway. But as I said, I really enjoy these morning get-togethers. Great to see everyone for this, uh, this session. That's a wrap.